What a difference three years makes. You can see they're using this land to dump debris currently. I'm not gonna lie, this place is pretty rough. I mean, this is just ridiculous. And even though I've been here before, I admit it's pretty nerve-wracking being here. I mean, look at this. Uh, I don't know. This is a really, really sketchy area. And the people who used to live here we're not, uh, let me put it this way, the friendliest people. What I'm gonna do is actually walk around the back. There's all kind of grasshoppers and crickets. I should not be on this property. Wow. I mean, just look at that. That's a trip. They've dug all that out. Probably to put fill in. The thing that kind of really Gets me a little nervous about this property as the um, previous owners were not good people. I mean, not that they were bad people, but what I'm trying to say is they were very, uh, they didn't like trespassers. You can see here back in the old barn, the old garage, it is pretty overgrown. Yeah, I'm not having a good vibe about this. <clears throat> I just, I have too much on the line to risk. I just kind of wanted to show you what this place looks like today. Obviously, I could probably get inside. It's so overgrown. I gotta watch out for ticks as well. Yeah, that was house number 49. It's been over four years since I was here. And uh, now this property, it's really sketchy. Plus with these uh, pieces of equipment on the land, I know they freshly use this. I mean, they, they're here not often, but they're here occasionally. It's just not worth me getting in trouble. I won't be back here. Being around this piece of these equipment, these pieces of equipment, this excavator and bulldozer, caterpillar, it looks sketchy. Dang it. Yeah, this is way risky. What I'm gonna do is get a few photos. The good thing is the road is very, very quiet right now, but um, I can't stick around here long. The grass is up to my waist. And uh, it's amazing how just unkept this place is. I mean, why would they leave it like this? And it's obvious people are dumping other pieces of equipment here, like, why would you just dump your couch on the side of the road? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. 
I do know the lady who used to live here. And uh, it's pretty a pretty sad situation why she's not here anymore. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's too bad. It's just unfortunate. She's not alive anymore. But, uh, if you remember that right there, that door originally opened and closed when I was here before in the wind. I mean, that, that place is, it's almost on, get to, it, it's almost unaccessible now. It's roached. I'm getting the heck out of here. Though I do want to get some photos, so what I'm going to do is cut it right here and get those photos. I could walk around up there. Well, I don't know. I guess I could walk around the other side, but again, that's like right next to the road. And this is the kind of place where you just don't want to hang outside in the road and view too long. I'm hoping that uh, maybe they will bring these uh, bulldozer and excavators in and knock the rest of the place down. Because you can hear how close the uh, vehicles are. A lot of state troopers on this road. The good thing here is this is Ohio State right away, so... As long as I'm standing in this, it's okay. That house is done. You know, I admit, I'm pretty shaky right now. This is a really sketchy area. And, um... Obviously, I look out of place, so. Yeah, they're gonna be tearing that. I mean, they gotta be tearing this down. There's just too much, too much damage. They might clear the rest of the land out and just use it for fill. So, that's it. Take care.